everyone, what's up? My name is Jessica Whitaker and today I'm here with Nelly. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to shoot through windows and dealing with reflections. This is kind of something that I see a lot done in photography. It's really pretty, but it can also go wrong really fast. So I'm gonna teach you my number one trick for shooting through windows, dealing with reflections. This video is also sponsored by Skillshare and I'll talk about them in a minute. Before we get into that, I'm shooting with my Canon 5D Mark IV and then my 35 1.4 Sigma Art lens. Be sure to check out the full set of images over on my blog and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more photography videos. You can also find me on Instagram at Jessica Whitaker. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is a site where you can go and take a class, learn a new skill, or even teach a class yourself. And it's specifically for creatives, photographers, calligraphers, florists, models, anything like that. But the classes aren't just about how to take a photo. You can take classes such as digital media marketing or how to freelance specifically. Skillshare makes it really fun and easy to understand because it's specifically made for creatives. Right now, my favorite classes are the ones specifically about photography and portraits. Skillshare is also offering my viewers, the first 50 people who sign up using my code, which is on the screen here and down below, a two month free trial, which is awesome because premium membership is about $10 a month. So you're gonna save 20 or so dollars and you can take all the classes that you want. It's free access, it's really exciting. So be sure to go check them out in the description box below. All right, so with that all being said, be sure to go check out Skillshare and let's hop into the video. Okay, so the first thing about shooting through windows is you don't want anything super light or white um, going through the person's head. So as you can see um, in the reflection, there is this kind of white car and it's gonna, you don't want that going through her at all. So you, I'm gonna have to take this from a higher angle where I'm not even gonna get the car in the shot, if that makes sense. You want darker colors around the subject because it's gonna contrast more and you're not gonna have any objects obstructing the face. That's I think the biggest key for me when shooting through windows. You're gonna have things reflecting in it so when it's darker colors it's better because they're going to blend in whereas white is obviously gonna pop and show up in a reflection I'll show you what not to do obviously in this photo there is that white car um, in the way and in this case we can't move the car um, but we can move the subject if need be so first I'm gonna try without moving the subject and then if I find that there's really no way around it I'll have her maybe scoot down but the car is all the way in the whole shot unfortunately so i am going to do a higher angle and i might actually even you know what stepping away actually helps that a lot so instead i'm going to move over and my shirt is actually white that wasn't super smart to wear maybe wear like a black shirt um and be per more prepared next time but i'll just step away more and kind of shoot more from the side maybe like turn and have your head your hand yeah, I do. And bring both hands. Another thing too, it's a lot of communicating kind of like, I don't know if she can hear me, but um, it's a lot of just kind of more movement. Um, okay, perfect. Okay. Great. And I'm kind of, because my shirt is white again, um, I'm kind of having to like move around so that it's not gonna be in the reflection fully. So as you can see in this photo, there's nothing obstructing her face. Another helpful thing is having the door open. Obviously, Nellie's really close to the door, and so she can hear me talking and stuff, so it's easier to direct. But sometimes if you're at a coffee shop and you're on the clear outside and it's downtown Seattle and there's a bunch of cars going by, you have to use more hand movements, but it's pretty easy, honestly. Um, and you can communicate to your model before the shoot, before you separate, and just be like, do a lot of movements, kind of stay in the same area. All right, so now we are gonna do some that are more straight on. I'm not gonna come over and angle of myself. So this is in the case in a lot of areas too. It's just only straight. You don't really have the option to go around. There's not like this kind of curved window or angled window situation. And this is also great because I'm able to get more of the reflection, but kind of more incorporate it into the shot purposely. I also really like this in particular because we have the cute Coca-Cola machine. We have some lights that are going on inside the shop. Um, as well as obviously outside. So this is just very cute. Okay, so I'm in live view right now because this is a little bit easier for me to have more control over the image. So see how Nelly is kind of framed within this dark patch? This is a lot better, and I still don't love how this blue is running through her head, but this is a lot better than having it somewhere. See how there's this white that is going through her head and obstructing it? This is the case of wanting to have something darker and more contrasted. This is a lot better than something like this as you can tell it's honestly just science you just want to frame them against something dark a lot of the times you can even use like a dark car or a building across the street So 
we're just gonna get some shots of her and i do want to keep these lights in the frame so using live view beautiful that's really pretty and in this case you might even need to use manual it's really depending on my mark IV. it makes it a little bit easier to do this but really cute I'm gonna get now a little bit closer because as you can see in the last shot, there are those two um, lines running through her face that are, are a result of the car in front of us. Um, and so I'm just gonna get a tiny bit closer to her. Beautiful. Stay like that for me for a second. Okay, stay right there, please. Okay, so this is really great because I love how she is being framed and I can get those cool lights from the Coca-Cola machine. Have you tilt your head up this way again? Yeah. Have you look at me? Still keep your head up though. Yeah. So now I'm just gonna get a few more shots of Nelly for the rest of the photo set. Um, but that is my biggest tip that I use in all of my window shots is to really focus on having something dark and contrasted. And that's what I apply to the rest of these images that you'll see in a second. All right, everyone, so that was it. That was the tutorial. I hope that you found it helpful. Thank you so much, Nellie, for coming along, showing them, teaching them your wisdom <laughs> and your ways. Be sure to go see the full set of images over on my website. It'll be linked down below, as well as my coupon code for Skillshare. Thank you again so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more photography videos. Find me over on Instagram at Jessica Whitaker, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.